Welcome back to the online platform, Education Unlimited, as we continue our surge into the subject, the principles of accounts. Today, we'll be looking at the accounting cycle, and we will also have an introduction into the journals. I hope that you will enjoy the presentation today. I also ask that if you like the videos, you may share, you may subscribe, and you may also hit the like button as we go along. Thank you for joining us. Today we'll be looking at the accounting cycle. Just as how in geography, there's the water cycle. In accounts, the accounting cycle shows the flow or the steps of activities from journalizing the entries to recording the entries in the double entry system of accounts after which we balance them off to extract a trial balance and then we prepare our final accounts. It must be noted that the information that is used to journalize entries can be garnered from source documents. And so some accounting cycle include a first stage or first step before journalized entries called source documents. But for simplicity, we will use the simplified version of the accounting cycle. It must also be noted that after recording the double entries, before extracting a trial balance, some accounting cycle includes a stage for balancing off. It must also be noted that before preparing the final, of ac final accounts, some accounting cycles include a stage for adjustment of accounts before the final, of ac final accounts. But in this simplified version, we journalize the entry. Let us look here that journalize is a verb, record is a verb, extract is a verb, prepare is a verb. So this is a practical aspect of accounts. We journalize the entries. We record the double entry from the information of the journals. After recording the double entry system of accounts in the ledgers and also the cash book, Although the cash book is a journal, but the entries in the cash book are recorded in a double entry format or style. The third stage is to extract or set up a trial balance, which includes a debit and a credit side list of balances. So the trial balance should or must balance. It is the information from the trial balance that we use to prepare the final accounts. And the final accounts includes the income statement and the statement of financial position, also called the balance sheet. So this is a simplified version of the accounting cycle as we move along. The first step in the accounting cycle is to journalize entries. But what is the journals? The journals also call the books of or the books of prime or original entry. So it is also called the books, but it's the books of prime or original entry. And the word here prime meaning first. Original also means first. So the first place that we get the information from before we place it into the double entry 
is from the journals. I do not include the source documents because the source documents includes basically data such as our invoices, check stubs, credit notes, debit notes, receipts, bank statements. Those are some of the information that we use to create our journal. It must be noted, for example, in the bank statement, it includes bank charges. These are information that otherwise we would have not have known, but we use this information from the bank charge, placed it into a journal, transfer it into a ledger, as in the double entry system of accounts, extract a trial balance, and then this information, for example, a bank charge would then be placed in the final accounts in the form of the income statement being placed on the expenses side. We will get a deeper understanding of all of these terms and all of this process as we go along as we enjoy this subject called accounts. So the first stage is to journalize the entries. As we continue to look at the journals, let us look at the most popular journals. The sales book or the sales journal. The folio for this journal is the SB or SJ. The purchases book or the purchases journal. The folio is the abbreviation PB or PJ. Then the return in wards book or the return in wards journal, the folio, RIB or RIJ, the, the return outwards book, also called the return outwards journal, the folio, ROB or ROJ, then the cash book is also a journal, the folio CB, and then Last, but by no means least, the general journal, also called the journal. As we close this short video on the accounting cycle and the introduction to the journals, let us look at the different journals here, or different books. First of all, the sales book is a book or journal that we record all credit sales. Credit here means that the customers bought these goods from our business but did not pay us. We allowed them a credit on these goods or services for that matter. Then we have the purchases book. In this book, we record all credit purchases. These are items that we purchased from our suppliers on credit. We did not pay them in cash or check. Then we have the return inwards book. We record in this book, the record all sales return. So from these sales that we had sold, if any customer returned anything to us, we record it in the return inwards book. The return outwards book is linked to the purchases book. So any item that we return to our supplier for some reason or another, we record these purchases returns in the returns outwards book. Then there's the cash book, very popular. It is not a ledger, it is a journal or a book because it is the first place that we record all cash 
and bank transactions. The cash book. Although different from the other main journals, the cash book is somewhat like a double entry system of accounts. Then finally, we have the general journal. In this book or journal, we record a number of things. Record opening and closing entries. We record sales and purchases of fixed or non-current assets. So let us remember that do not confuse the sales book and the purchases book with the general journal. In the sales book and the purchases book, we record goods and services that were bought, for example, the goods that were bought for resale and the services, those are the main operation of the business. So we record those in the sales book or the purchases book. But the sales and purchases of fixed asset is different. Fixed asset are not bought for resale. So those are recorded in the general journal. And then any adjustment of entries are also recorded in the general journal, including all other entries that are not recorded in these first five books. Those are all recorded in the general journal, also called the journal. These includes provision for bad debts, provision for doubtful debts. It includes provision for depreciation. All of these entries are recorded in the general journal.